In 2007, Brian Actin and Jan Kuhn applied to Facebook after they left Yahoo. But both of them were rejected. In 2009, they founded WhatsApp Incorporated. And in 2014, barely five years after WhatsApp started, Facebook acquired WhatsApp for a whooping 19 billion US dollars. The question is, what can we learn from Brian and Jan when it comes to handling rejection? So in this video, I will be covering what is rejection? Why do people feel rejection? Wrong ways people handle rejection? And how can you turn rejection to your advantage? If you don't have the patience to go through the definition and the wrong ways people manage rejection, then you can skip the video towards the end, about three minutes to the end, where I shared on practical tips on how you can turn rejection to your advantage. You or somebody you know need this information. They are very vital. But before you go on, remember that when you subscribe to a channel like this, you empower me to be able to reach out to more people. So please subscribe now. All right, I can't wait. Let's get started. Hello, Impact Maker. Welcome to another broadcast of Life Transitions today, where I share tips and tactics to help you maximize the in-betweens of life. I'm Dele Ayo Bankole. In 2006, Paula Goodspeed auditioned for the American Idol. Oh, that's a good job in the city. <laughs> Work is all the man every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleep. It wasn't worried about the way things might have been. They will keep on turning. But the judges criticized the performance. She managed to put up with this humiliation for Speechless. another two years Don't until they found her dead body in front of the house of you know, Paula um, and Doll, one nah, of the judges she it's, had it's not idolized. Not being Stephanie Adams had a great career as a model and playboy playmate. Over time, her relationship with her husband became toxic and at some point, she was going to be denied custody of her seven-year-old son. From the 25th floor of a hotel building, she threw her son to the ground floor and also took a plunge. In an article published by Nuasa Times on the 6th of February 2016, Jeremy Winston had a long-term dream to become a great player like Vincent Company, and maybe even better. He joined the under-13 elite squad of Manchester City and recently the club released him. Obviously, this didn't go well with Jeremy as he ended up taking his own life. There are more examples that we can take in a short video, but one theme runs through each of the three examples I just gave, and that is the feeling of rejection. The truth is, we all suffer rejection at one point or the other in our lives when we have a dream of something that we want to achieve but the dream doesn't go the way we want it to go when we invest in a relationship and the relationship doesn't go doesn't end the way we want it to end so there are many times when we so much adore or we so much desire something but then it just slips us by that is rejection so the point is what exactly is rejection Rejection is the feeling of shame, sadness, or grief that people have when they are not accepted by others. I said earlier, we all have a point in our lives where it looks like we are not accepted by people. So it is not that we are not good enough, it is just that for some reasons, the people that we think or we expect that should accept us just didn't feel the same way we are feeling. The question then is, why do people feel rejection? Number one, shame. Shame is that emotion that combines feeling of dishonor, unworthiness and embarrassment. When things happen to us and we feel embarrassed, we feel like people dishonor us by the actions that they take against us, then we will feel like it is rejection. Once shame comes in, then I tell you that feeling of, of rejection will overwhelm that particular person. 
Number two, shock. Think about it this way. Imagine that you have your life planned out. This is what you want to do and you can see yourself in an organization or in a particular relationship. Uh, this is where I am going in the next five, ten years. And just two years down the line, the organization says, sorry, we don't want you anymore. That's the case with Jeremy. Jeremy joined the Man City Elite Squad at around 13 years of age. And by 17, the club says, please, we need to let you go now. But he had a long-term vision for, be for becoming a part of the club. That dream just went down the drain. That shock alone could make somebody do something if they don't understand how to turn rejection to an advantage. And that's what I'll be sharing with you in the latter part of this video so you don't want to miss it. Number three, security. There's a feeling of security that comes with knowing that you have invested so much in a relationship or in an organization and things are beginning to work out. That feeling, that emotional attachment to the person, to the place, to the position, to the privileges that you already have in that place alone can begin to make you have some sense of security. When you feel rejection, it's as if that security is taken away from you and many people cannot undo that. Number four is self-esteem. So when we go through bout of rejection it affects our self-esteem and also if someone had not learned to build up their esteem around who they are around what they have around their abilities their attributes those things that make them unique and different that give them leverage and that gives them the upper hand in any relationship if they're focusing on what other people think or say about them or how other people accept them then i tell you when it looks like they are rejected the person may not be able to handle it because they have not built their esteem around the things that actually give them an advantage number five is separation the fear or the feeling of separation from our loved ones is one reason why people have this sense of rejection but the truth is, when the bond of emotions is stronger than the voice of reason, we tend to feel disappointed and alienated. So, what does that mean? We need to pay attention to what the voice of reason says more than the bond of emotions. Because emotions, you know, they come and it goes. And nothing in life is guaranteed. Nothing in life is permanent. But once we understand that part, then we know that we can always build our lives around what really matters and we're ready to let go at any time T because nothing in life, remember, is guaranteed. Number six, the stress of starting all over. Imagine you've invested so much in a relationship and just when you were thinking that, oh, I found someone I'm going to get married to and the lady or the guy says, I'm sorry, I'm I'm no longer interested. That alone is like, oh, after all these years of investing, you spent your money, you spent your body, you spent your, your, your mind, everything you have. And then suddenly the person says, I'm sorry, I'm no longer interested in this relationship. This can be devastating for so many people. And that is why we have this sense of rejection. So when we don't understand what rejection really is and how to handle it, then we and do it in a wrong way so quickly let me zap through four wrong ways people undo rejection remember i said if you don't want to listen to this you can skip to the last part now where i talk about how to turn rejection to your advantage but this is also important but let me just zap through it one wrong way people manage rejection is bitterness you know many people become angry resentful and hostile just because somebody rejected them the point is when you become bitter it affects your entire being and it affects your capacity to be productive to think productively to be able to come up with creative ideas and creative solutions the second one is enmity when you begin to make enemy out of people for no reason just because someone has rejected you then it affects you and 
everyone around you. And the third one is suicide. Suicide is when somebody takes their own life. One of the things I have observed about suicide is that many times suicide doesn't really affect the person. Suicide doesn't really affect the person that offended you. Most times it is the people that care about you the most that it affects. There's something we call absorb trauma. Absorb trauma is becoming traumatized as a result of what other people are going through. When you go through the pain of suicide, the people that become traumatized are the people that care so much about you. So if you really love your children, if you really love your wife, if you really love your family, your mom, your dad, or your friends, then you shouldn't allow them to go through that pain. So please drop that idea of committing suicide for the sake of the people that you really love. If you don't want them to be traumatized, please stop it. Stop that idea. There's a creative solution and I'll be sharing with you in the next segment. And the last one is tantrums. Many people just begin to throw up tantrums everywhere because someone has rejected them. See, face the person who has offended you and sort things out with the person and move on with your life. You don't need to allow what you were going through in one relationship to affect every other relationship that you have. So stop throwing tantrums around. Be man enough. Be woman enough. Face the situation and move ahead. So how can you move ahead quickly? Let me share with you three strategies for turning rejection to your advantage. I call this the WDC system. The WDC system. Number one, awesomeness. If you do not feel complete on your inside, then you will seek it outside. And if you seek it outside, I can guarantee you, you will always be disappointed. Because awesomeness is something that should come from your inside. Nobody can give it to you. You have to believe in your own capacity. You have to believe in your own abilities. You have to believe in what you have as a person. See, whatever it is that you have is for your own benefit and it is to your advantage if only you pay attention to them. You are beautiful as you are. You may not look like that face you see on the magazine cover. Remember, they've done a lot of face beats and a lot of makeups for them to be like that. But you are natural. You are you. You are the best version of you. You are you limited. There is no copy of you. You are original. And that should always sink in your head. Once you understand your awesomeness then you can begin to live life from the inside out and not from the outside in once you begin to live life from the from the inside out then you begin to give life your best once you begin to give your best like that people will pay attention to you and that is what makes you stand out okay the second one is detachment do not hold on too tightly to anything in life at its best life is ephemeral think about it there were some things that you so much desired five, six, seven years ago that right now they don't mean so much to you anymore. That is the same way with anything in life. So nothing should so much occupy your mind that you want to kill yourself over it. I'm telling you, everything in life is ephemeral. Think about it. Where are the stars of five, six, seven, ten years ago? Many of them, we don't even know whether they exist or not. Where are the star players? Where, where, where are they? Where are the celebrities of, of, of yesteryear? So you realize that there's really nothing. So you have, you have a cloth that you cannot let go. It's just a matter of time. In a few months or max one year, you, you start detesting it. You have a position right now that is like if you if you don't hold on to this position like that's the end of life. I tell you it's just a matter of time before you realize that there's something more out there waiting for you. So uh, the best position to take in life is to just put yourself in that position where if it is required that you let go of anything, be it a relationship with someone, a relationship with an organization, whatever it is, always tell yourself when it is time to let go, 
I will let go whether I am ready for it or not. Many times you will not be ready for it but if you can always prep your mind that nothing in life is worth holding on to, nothing in life is worth dying for, then I tell you, you can always move on with your life and achieve even greater things. Number three, that's the C, challenge. Accept the challenge that life throws at you. Get so good that they come back looking for you. I opened this video with the example of the founders of WhatsApp, Actin and Jan Kun. They applied to Facebook to become staff of Facebook but Facebook rejected them. Two years after that, they founded their own organization WhatsApp. And five years after they founded WhatsApp, Facebook bought their company for $19 billion and employed them to manage WhatsApp until they eventually left the place. Think about it. Get so good that they can't do without you, that they come looking for you. Another example is the example of Dr. Ben Carson. Ben Carson, because of his color, faced a lot of rejection. But they couldn't do without him because he was the best in his field as a neurosurgeon. Get so good, that is my challenge to you. Accept the challenge. You're in a relationship and the guy says you are not good enough. Prove him wrong by giving life your best. Remember, you need to live life from your whole, from the inside out. Remember also that you need to detach yourself from anything, be willing to let go and of course, accept the challenge that life throws at you. Results command respect. Go out and show them that they are wrong for letting you go. I hope you found value in this video. What was the high point for you? Please let me know in the comments. When you subscribe to a channel like this, you empower me to be able to reach out to more people. So please subscribe now and turn on the notification bell. I have some other amazing videos on this channel that you need to see right now. So please click this link now and watch those other videos. To meet again in the next video, keep winning, keep grinding and keep bringing in the laurels. I'm Delia Bankoli. I believe in you.